Good morning, welcome to Rock Painting Workshops. Today we're going to use some of these bright colours and we're going to create this uh, quirky bird chicken. So first I'm going to start with my uh, outer colours, my background colours. And I'm just laying down some colour and while it's still wet, I'm just sort of smushing that out a little bit with my finger. You can use a sponge dabber, so don't get too stressed out. There's going to be like people that don't like to use their fingers and that's fine. There are a couple of videos where you can see that I use the their little ones they fit on your fingers and you can just use those and smush out any any sponge will do you can just smush the color out that way if you don't like to get your fingers dirty or, or touching in the paint so right now it kind of looks looks like a bit of a woolly sheep <laughs> kind of like the background okay so we've just smushed that color around and this is just a little design that i saw in my mum's scrapbook supplies so she's got a lot of stamps and things like that so this is just a little um, quirky bird, sort of chickeny thing, long-legged, goodness knows what it is, just a little bit of bundle of cuteness right here. I'll swap that blue, I like the lighter blue better. Uh, so yeah, I've just drawn that on the rock and uh, on the stamp, the brand isn't on it anymore, so I can't even tell you where the design came from, except that it is a stamp um, and I've decided to a lot of people when they hear me say oh it's a stamp I'm not stamping onto the rock I'm just using the image and I'm using that as a picture and I'm drawing that onto my rock so you can see when I started I had a black pen outline on my rock and if you go into the description here you'll see uh, that I link up how to do that drawing on the rock you can pop over to the link uh, on our blog posts and you can look up we've got blogs there that what do you call it a blog post there that teaches you how to do the drawing or you can join our um, latest project that we're doing and that is our rock painting course and that's got like 55 videos on it 13 ebooks and we host that on our website you can pop over and join that and you can learn all the step by steps that I'm that I'm teaching and drawings included in in that course as well so there's one coat and here you can see this is once I've done two coats the background is just a, a watery smush so there's not I haven't gone back and done two coats there but you can see the color on the bird very opaque and that's nice two nice thin layers of paint uh, paint pen that I've done there and now I'm just putting in some shading, doing the usual, wetting my brush, wiping off any excess water, tapping it onto my paint pen and just smushing that down onto the rock to get some shading. If you're using paint, you can just dip it into the um, acrylic paint that you're using. I'll just grab this photo for the Facebook people. And uh, yeah, you can just dip your brush just into the tiniest little bit of acrylic paint and pop that onto the rock keep your weight your paintbrush wet and you can just smush that around as well and it'll do exactly the same thing so instead of the regular black outline I'm going I'm using my white pen and I'm doing a white outline on this uh, quirky chicken and you can just keep coming around in the white. I'm not bothered if I don't hide all the black eye outlines from the previous. If any of the black shines through, that'll actually help give it a little bit of depth. So don't be worried about uh, that if some of the black shines through. Let's give him some real knobbly little knees there. It's quite cute. Yeah, so he's just nice and simple, but I like the, the color, color contrast using that white pen as the outline. It makes it look really good. We'll add the black eyes. Okay. Some little polka dots around just to add a little bit of fun to the design. And um, why am I doing it? I'm doing it because I can. And the other reason is I have to wait for the eyes, the black eyes, to dry before I can put little reflex in the eyes. So, ah. Uh, 
paint some polka dots while you're waiting. Some little highlights, dots and dashes. Come around. That's a little bit too thick. Just paint that in white. See, I'm putting the reflect in now. It's both to the same side, but I had to wait for that black pen to dry. So come and show us your little quirky chickens. Join us over at Reef Rocks Free Workshops on Facebook, and I'll catch up with you there.